Hey, welcome back to Tuesday, guys. I wanna make Tuesday something that you can expect every week. But seriously, guys, I do want these videos to happen a little more frequently, considering, uh, you know, I don't always do them every week, even though it's a welcome back to Tuesday thing, so I'm gonna try, okay? That's me just telling you guys I'm gonna try a little harder. Uh, I just wanted to be a time when I can talk to you guys about what's going on, let you know how things are going, take a step back, step back from the games and whatnot, and uh, this week, guys, we're gonna start off by talking about uh, Last week, yeah. <laughs> the last Tuesday video I did, guys, was the um, Googling myself video, and uh, it got a lot of great reception, so thank you for that. Seems you guys really enjoyed it. And I have a little follow-up to that now, okay? I gotta tell you guys what happened after that video went up. So, sometime after the video went up, I think it was like the next day or something, I started getting tweets from the company who made the video, like the YouTube channel or whatever, which is just some, it's a tech review channel. I don't know what the hell is going on there. It's, just, it's a tech review channel that has videos by this Matt Shea guy. Anyway, so they, they tweeted me and they were like, you got you should get together with Matt Shea and make a video or something like that. And then um, I, I ended up tweeting this, okay? My new lifetime goal is to meet Matt M. Shea. That's his handle on Twitter in person. I bet the beard looks even better in person. And he said... He replied to me, guys, and he said, Someday we'll make it happen, Matt Shea. I've been using the beard oil, so it's got a nice luster. So this guy followed me, and he replied to me, and I think that's hilarious, guys. So, like, pretty much we're best buddies now. I'm just kind of jealous, guys, because this Matt Shea has such a big, majestic beard, and I've got pretty much nothing. All I got is this chin right here, guys, which leads me to my next point, this segue, I suppose. I don't think I had anything else to say about Matt Shea. I, I, went, to, I went to the video, the Papa PewDiePie video, and there's so many comments there, people saying, Matt Shea sent me, Matt Shea sent me. I didn't link to the video or anything. I guess I could have. I mean, sometimes that can go bad. I know, I see what people do on the internet when they get, uh, when they like, you know, get together as a group. There's a lot of nasty things going around all the time. You know, you guys have seen it on Leafy's channel and other channels as well. Just like, just people being assholes for no reason, you know? But I didn't see that much. I didn't see that much in the comments. There were a few people, you know, ragging on the video or whatever, but overall, it seemed to be in good fun, okay? Keep it in good fun, guys. All right, I, I, I don't dislike this Matt Shea guy. He seems like a cool guy. He just made a very cringy video, I'll say. But anyway, I had a segue, guys, and then, uh, you know, it didn't really happen. The chin, the chin segue, let's let's talk about the chin. So on Saturday guys, I put up a video called My Chin Plays Happy Wheels. It's been a while since I made a Happy Wheels video, so I said, hey, you know what? Let's make a Happy Wheels video. I got this idea. I've seen this before where people, you know, use their chin as a face kind of thing. So I just went for it. It was out of my comfort zone, I'll say. You know, it was something I was a bit nervous about putting up. I knew some people were gonna dislike it. I knew some people were gonna be like, this is really stupid, etc., etc. But I put it up and I'm really glad I did because honestly, the community feedback has been equal parts heartwarming and hilarious. I've gotten fan art and I've gotten all these tweets and things. Look, I, I just wanna point out, guys, that this had nothing to do with Leafy's chin, okay? My chin is a completely separate thing from Leafy's chin, but it was funny seeing some tweets like uh, this one here. Uh, I, I, I don't have it on the screen right now, let me get it. <laughs> you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. I thought that was a funny tweet, guys. And then the fan art, man. The beautiful, beautiful fan art of my chin. The question is what you look like when you took the photo. And then <laughs> this person, the Bros Galaxy, made me this fan art of me with the with the you know the the chin the chin hat and whatnot. So it's it's both if you flip it upside down, you see the chin, and if you keep it right side up, you see me kind of thing. Almost like an optical illusion. I don't know, it looks really weird. It's a really great piece of art, guys. There's more, don't worry. So this was the first piece of fan art I got, guys, and that was flattering enough considering, you know, I didn't expect anyone to make fan art of my chin. Then I got this one here, guys. This guy is the one who did my current channel art. He did the banner, he did all kinds of stuff. His name is Hen Henrique, really great dude. He made this one with a little kill me in the background. Awesome, I love it. And then another YouTuber that I know, his name is Tibblewinkles. He said, uh, I apologize, all my fan art of you has been extremely unconventional, and it's, uh, it's my chin. It's really weird, like, this is such a weird looking art style. It almost looks like, 
it almost looks like he made a chin and put pieces of paper on there and things. It's kind of creepy, man. So yeah, I just wanted to say thanks, guys. I enjoyed making the video. You guys enjoyed watching it. That was great. Um, there were like 8,000 like 8, likes on it now, which is a crazy amount of likes. I mean, there's 400 dislikes, which is a lot of dislikes as well. But it's fun. It's fun to do a video where you know some people are going to hate it and some people are going to love it because, you know, it's kind of like one of those polarizing type of things. So that's the chin situation, guys. Just wanted to just wanted to talk about that since I had a lot of fun with that. Now, guys, we are going to be doing something that uh, a lot of people have already done. Okay, I'm hopping on a bandwagon here. We're going to find out if I'm pretty or not. Now, I know what you're thinking, Matt. Of course, you're pretty. You're the, you're beautiful. You're 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 pretty much the most beautiful person in the world. You're not thinking that. Well, you should be. Well, either way, we're going to find out today if I'm actually pretty. We're gonna we're gonna judge me on an objective scale. Okay, it's 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 foolproof. It's 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 an internet thing. Okay, where where you, where you take your face, you put it online, and then it tells you whether or not you're pretty based on your like eye level and like how far apart they are and all that stuff. So yeah, I don't even know what the website is, guys. I'm sure if I search it, I can find it. Am I beautiful or ugly? Am I pretty? Am I ugly? Why am I ugly or not pretty enough? Online test for face beauty analysis. Analyze your face in three minutes. What? Three minutes? That's only 180 seconds, dude! Holy shit, slow down! Rate my face, 1 to 100. How beautiful am I? Are you pretty? Ask us with confidentiality. Upload photo or use webcam. So we're gonna, I guess I'll use my webcam. My my webcam's kind of up here. Uh, so so let me just adjust that here. And we'll we'll get right to it, okay? We're gonna take some beautiful pictures of me. Mmm, mmm. Come on, webcam. You can do it. What in the hell is that? Oh, Jesus, I think it's using the Vive camera on the floor? This wasn't what I had in mind, man. This is super weird. Like, what's up? This isn't going to get a very good picture of me, I feel. Mm. So wide as well. Damn. Look how wide this thing is. Hello? Hey there. Okay, I got it, guys. <laughs> I know you didn't have to wait, but I've been trying to do this for a little while now. So let me just lean in here. All right. And what am I supposed to do? Fit your face in your oval and pre press this button. It doesn't tell me whether or not I'm supposed to smile, guys, but I'll just go ahead and, uh... There. I'm waiting! Alright! I- Oh, no, no, that's not good. That's not good. Way too much, uh, non-symmetry in my face right there, guys. I gotta- I gotta do less eyebrow raising. Okay, that one looks better. I think this one should do, guys. Yes. Let's go with it. So now I just need to move these dots around, okay? Get that done, and then we'll see how beautiful I am. Okay, guys, the results are in, and I am 77% pretty. Or 77%, I suppose. I got a long face. I already knew that, okay. Yeah, the whole joke with the long face, That's that joke's about me. No big deal. Normal forehead size. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm winning, guys. I'm winning. Good interocular distance. You ever, you ever like, want to walk up to someone, you see someone, and you're like, wow, that girl... <sighs> Her interocular distance is mm, just, just, mm. and you walk up to her and you're like, baby, baby, what's, what's up? Baby, baby, what's up? What's up, girl? Your interocular distance is ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, I don't recommend that one, guys. Honestly, it doesn't work that well. Trust me. I also got a wide nose. I got a wide mouth. I got a normal chin. Normal chin, guys. Imagine that. And poor face symmetry. Really? My face looks pretty symmetrical there. If you ask me, okay, but but fine. Okay, so as you guys can see, obviously I'm pretty, okay? 77% is pretty good. I mean, unless you're my parents, in that case, where the other 23% go or whatever. But yeah, 77% is pretty good, guys. But what I'm wondering is, am I prettier than my chin? We're gonna find out right now. Okay, here it goes, guys. This is my chin. If you haven't seen the video, I recommend you watch it. It's only five minutes. I made it short because I felt like if I made a long video, it would probably get annoying really fast. All right, so uh, here we go. So we're gonna line him up. Okay, you might need to be a little bit bigger. Can we can we bring bring him up in size? What the? Oh, here we go. All right, there. That's pretty good. So this part's gonna be kind of complicated, guys, considering uh, my chin doesn't have all the facial features that you might uh, you might need in order to get rated on this uh, particular website. But let's try it anyway, okay? Uh, we're gonna do outer right eye, right here. Outer left eye, right here. Uh, place the, whoa, what the hell? Okay, just go ahead and twist the picture around for me. I don't care. Uh, line at the inner right eye. So that's gonna be right there. 
and then the inner left eye. They're gonna be like, wow, this guy is an ugly dude. I don't have a chin, so I'm just gonna use the bottom of the photo, okay? Because you, uh, you go down any further than that, you're gonna see my nose, okay? And that's a, that's a big no-no, all right? You don't, you don't wanna see my nose. All right, there we go. And then we have to do the rightmost point on the face, which I assume is like, I don't know, right? Oh, let's go right here, okay? We'll go here and we'll go here. And we're gonna do hairline. I guess we'll do it where the hat is. Good. Uh, and then there, there's no nose. There's no nose, so I'm gonna say the nose is uh, here. Okay, is that is that fair? And then we'll just say that the nose is somewhere around where the eyes, you know, right down below the eyes, because because your nose kind of lines up right here with your eyes. So we'll just go with that. Okay, there, and then uh, uh, there. Cool. And then the middle of the mouth. And then the lines in the right mouth, point of the mouth. There's so much to do, guys. Right mouth, right mouth, blah, 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 le left. And that's it. We're done. Zero percent. You are very ugly. You cannot be that ugly. Did you adjust the lines? Try again. Face too wide, forehead too small, little interocular distance, nose too narrow, nose too short, mouth too wide, small chin, but good face symmetry. I know how to make my chin, my chin face symmetrical, guys. All right, so uh, don't fuck with me. So I don't know how to tell my chin disguise, honestly. I think it's gonna break his poor little heart. You gotta tell this guy that he's 0% pretty? He's 100% ugly, my chin. I can't do it. You guys are gonna have to do it, because I just can't. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I still love you, man. Okay, I do. I know how accepting my chin is of others, guys, okay? And I want to accept him for who he is. Ugly, ugly son of a bitch. Ugh. Okay, so uh, let's let's get serious here for a second, guys. I was not expecting my chin to be that ugly, okay? Now, I, 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 I understand. I understand why. Because obviously, if you make a face with your chin, it's going to be weird, okay? You got eyes where normally your nose would be. Well, I mean like obviously my, my nose is not down here if you flip it upside down your nose would be that far away you, you get what I'm trying to say, okay, the chin is ugly for a variety of reasons. I Just didn't think it was gonna be zero percent. So I am 70% 77% prettier than my chin. There you go guys Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it Don't forget to leave a like and I will see you next time. Goodbye